Hello everyone and welcome to Driving Academy here on American Truck Simulator. Driving Academy was launched on the 16th of October by SES Software for both American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator. It's a completely new game module that provides various scenarios of increasing difficulty inspired by the instructions given to real life trucking students with detailed explanations, diagrams, pointers and directions to assist you throughout the entire process. In addition to this, you can analyze your drive with the brand new replay system. All right, let's get started. First of all, we are asked to select a cab. There are a number of sleeper cab options available. I'm going to try the Kenworth T680 next gen. It's a truck cab that I like very much. So let's click continue. Chapter one involves the basic controls and movement of the truck. This involves setting up your seat, your steering wheel, your mirrors, driving forward, using the wipers, the lights, the indicators, etc. I've decided to skip this. However, I think this is an awesome feature for those that are brand new to the sim. So if that's you, then I would absolutely encourage you to use this to begin with. Make sure you understand all the basic controls. I saw online quite a bit of criticism for this chapter one, and I think a lot of people in the community think it's beneath them. But of course, we ought to start somewhere in these truck sims and to be thrown in at the deep end without this information, it did make life quite difficult for some players to try and figure everything out. For the purpose of this video, we're going to go straight into chapter two. So our first mission in basic maneuvers is parking next to an obstacle. This one seems fairly straightforward. And we're just going to check the mirror on the right hand side and make sure we're not clipping any of the cones over there. And one of the things I find difficult is knowing how far forward to park. But of course, if you look in the mirrors, you can see the area on the ground turning green and we have completed the first mission. It should be noted that every single mission that you do, you have to turn the engine on and take the parking brake off and do the opposite at the end of the mission in order to pass. Okay, so that we're happy with that first mission. Next one is gonna be the slalom between the cones. So they show us a little video of how this should be done. I'm pretty sure these videos are sped up because they like you doing these missions very, very slowly. So we're just gonna crawl here, take it nice and easy, I have to say I apologize for the kind of jerky movement when I look left and right. If I could use my head tracker, then I absolutely would do. I think it would be far smoother and it would allow me to keep both hands on the wheel at all times, which is always a good thing. And yet yeah, kind of feels unnatural to me. My head's looking left and right and nothing's happening. I've got the looking left and right mapped to my mouse at the moment. It does feel a little bit strange just driving with one hand. Again, it's kind of hard to know how far forward to go. And there we go. We park up and we get another pass. The awesome thing here is that you can watch your replays from different angles. It's possible to look from above or to take this cinematic angle. SES software, can we have this in the main game, please? This course is a bit more difficult. We're driving straight forward. We're going to reverse at an angle into a bay. Then we're going to drive forward again and take a 98 degree turn into our final parking spot. No prizes for rushing this. It was a bit of a debate as to whether I was going to show you this with Euro Truck Simulator or American Truck Simulator. And of course, I have also taken the easy option here today by using an automated transmission truck. But we have to come back to this for sure with a manual gearbox and the H pattern shifter just to find out how difficult that one is going to be. And all we got to do is drive forward and keep an eye on this right hand corner. I think they said in the instructions, you've got to go deep into this corner and you absolutely do. You've got to point the nose very far in. I probably overdid it there and let's pull forward into the bay and hopefully they are happy with our work. This one involves us reversing into an offset parking space. The game is very keen for you to do this within the cab. I find it really tough and I do like leaning out of the window from time to time just to check things are going well. I feel quite comfortable leaning out the driver's side window. So that's what I'm going to do. And we'll swing it in like so. And the mission is complete. We've not tackled anything that's totally difficult as of yet. Um, but this one is a little bit more tricky where they want us to do a parallel park maneuver between two parked trucks. As you can see, they've got the wooden boards at the curbside. We have to make sure we keep our tires off that wooden board. So let's give that a try. 
Let's just keep an eye out on that side. We seem to be doing well. We've just cleared the back of that truck, so let's swing in. Let's keep an eye on the side mirror to make sure we're not touching those wooden planks. This looks pretty good. And uh, let's put it in drive and square up a little bit with the other trucks beside us. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I just want to find out what happens if we actually run into the other truck behind us. So we're just going to keep going back and see what they say. Let's go. Oh, oh, that's really cool. So they show us in the corner the part of our truck that made contact with another object, which is really neat. We even have the four ways and the horn of the Western Star behind us <laughs> to let us know that they are not happy with us. Next up is the simple training course and we have to go for a short drive and see how we can implement all the skills that we've learned up until this point. We're told to be patient, adjust your driving speed for the turns and the obstacles that we encounter. So I wonder how tricky this one's going to be. We're told we've got to stay on the course so we certainly don't want to go onto the grass. Yeah, it seems like nice sweeping turns here but I'm pretty sure these are going to get tighter as we progress. Okay, this one looks like a 90 degree turn. Nothing too bad since we're just bobtailing here. And we've just got to keep our wits about us, kind of plan for the next corner. I probably took that one just a little wide. And uh, we're just going to watch our left hand side here. We're quite close to that barrier, but we're not too bad. We've actually got plenty of room at the other side. I just tend to run it quite close to the driver's side. Well, I have to say, I do like the little courses that they've set up for us. Being in a yard doesn't really do an awful lot for me, but being here, kind of in a real industrial setting, albeit coned off, feels a bit more realistic, feels a bit more like what we might have to encounter in some of these scenarios that are coming up. So, watch that cone over there. We seem okay. Point straight forward and turn as late as we dare. Yeah, we just don't want to do anything silly like knock over a cone. And we make it to the final spot. We just want to nose into this parking space. And there we go, we've completed the entire course. Not bad, certainly not a record breaking attempt. Nice and slow and steady, and we got the job done. So finally, a little bit scary, the advanced training course. Now I certainly wouldn't say I'm an advanced driver, They've hyped this one up to be fairly difficult and already we can see we've got some of these slaloms so we've learned just to not take them ridiculously wide. Just make sure we're watching our mirrors on either side, take the course nice and slow. Alright well we made that part of the course no problem and I'm going to hug the left hand side very closely here. Make sure that we can get round okay, actually that was pretty wide. I do love the inflatable man assets and you may have noticed there are trucks at the side of the road. There are quite a lot of people watching us as well. There's also a selection of cars sitting there, people watching how we're doing. Puts us under a little bit of pressure, of course, but nothing wrong with that. So we've got another sharp left here, kind of 90 degree turn, and it looks like we've got another one at the end of the street. You might have noticed as well, that all the trailers have Driving Academy on them, SES software, have made new trailer skins for the Driving Academy for both ATS and in ETS too. All right, what way do we go here? All right, just the left. Now, I don't want to speak too soon, but I have to say this course is fairly easy, perhaps just as easy as the first one, but I think I can see where it's about to get a lot more difficult. So we're expected to drive up to these barriers and we are asked to reverse down the other lane. Yeah, I'm gonna say that we need to pull forward a little bit more. I feel like I've just not given myself quite enough space. So let's nose forward, try and keep the truck well within play. And we'll go for full lock, we've got plenty of space. So we have to go down the side of this wall, obviously not staying too close to the wall, and reverse around the corner past these cones. Just gonna get out and have a look to check that I am on the right track, which we are. I certainly love using this camera view where we can just lean out the window. I realize we can't see the other side completely, but I find this one very easy to use. This is how most truck drivers would back into a space anyway. All right, now we're asked to go into drive and we're gonna complete the rest of the course driving forwards. They're not too bad, these corners. It'd be a different situation completely if we had to do this with the trailer on. Now we've been asked to watch out for the train lines, so I don't know if that means trains actually do appear. I don't think so. 
but we're going to do that one nice and slow because I certainly don't want to fail. There is a stop sign so I think we should stop at it. Well, it tells us we can ignore it if we wish. The right thing to do is to stop and uh, it looks like we're going to head along here into a little town which is really cool. Now this cannot be the end of our mission because this just seems too easy to pull straight into a space like this. All right, so we have to then reverse into a parking spot. Of course, this is made so much easier in the driving academy because everything is painted out on the road. When we translate this to the real sim outside of driving academy, of course, it's going to be far more difficult. Well, there we go. We're back into the space and we've completed the chapter. They tell us you've learned how to utilize each mirror on the truck, check the space around the truck before moving, and perform both the basic and advanced maneuvers. Well, I don't think we did too bad a job of that. If you're new to these sims, then this is gonna be an absolute godsend for you. I totally recommend that you do this before you get into the game proper. And uh, it certainly does no harm for folks like me that have been playing for a little while, just to see how to do things properly, just to sharpen up some of our skills and see the type of courses that real truck driving students would undertake. I hope you've enjoyed working through the basic maneuvers of the driving school and American Truck Simulator with me today. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave me a like. It helps out the video massively. And of course, if you want to see more trucking content, do check out my channel where I have an extensive playlist of American Truck and Euro Truck Simulator content. And of course, subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Most importantly though, have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Take care.